Hi, this is Lita Ford for jamplay.com. I'm going to talk to you about building a guitar solo. A guitar solo is something you want to be able to walk away from and hopefully it will be memorable. Like, say for instance, a guitar solo out of Hotel California or the guitar solo from Stairway to, Stairway to Heaven, or the guitar solo from uh, any Judas Priest song. Having two guitar players, like the Scorpions, it's nice to be able to build a solo having harmonies and having a meaningful solo, not something that is just rattled off. Don't just rattle off your guitar solos. Make them so they're memorable. So people can actually walk away from it humming a certain part of your guitar solo. Um, a good way to start your solo is to start lower down on your neck. Don't start up high and don't blow your wad right off the top. You want to build it. You want to start off at a decent place in the neck and build your solo. Maybe start off low second part of your solo, the middle part of your solo could be higher, a little bit higher, but not too high. Maybe add a couple of more licks, but not too many licks. And then the end of your solo, make that last note really count because that last note is what's going to carry you through the rest of the song, whether it's going back into the verse or whether you're going back into the chorus, which is going to take you out through the rest of the song. You can add harmony parts to your solo. Be creative with your solo. Don't just rattle off a bunch of licks. So a good way to start a solo, let's just say we're jamming an E. You could start it down low. Just an idea. Anyway, so make sure you have a beginning, a middle, and an ending to your solo. All right, don't rattle off a bunch of licks. And a good way to end it could be with a dive bomb. Don't forget those dive bombs. The, a lot of the bands like, uh, that have two guitar players, the Scorpions, the Judas Priest, um, they have very melodic guitar parts. When you can walk away and sing the, the lick or the, the guitar lead, you know that they've done something right instead of rattling off a bunch of licks. Um, you want to be able to walk away and sing it. If you're a singer, it would be great if you could sing the part and then try and figure it out on guitar. Maybe add a harmony to it, a higher harmony or a lower harmony and you have a beautiful guitar piece. Um, a lot of guitar players tend to forget that a guitar solo can be very beautiful and very melodic. Even if the song is really fast and really cooking, it doesn't mean that you have to play really, really fast. Don't try and cram 18 million licks into one measure of guitar. Try and be creative with it and try and come up with something that is melodic and add a, add a harmony to it. And maybe you don't do it on guitar. Maybe you play the main lick on guitar. Maybe you have your keyboard player play along with you. For instance, in Kiss Me Deadly, where the part goes... <laughs> I have my keyboard player playing the higher harmony with me. So it makes this part something that sticks in your head. You can walk away from it 
and you remember that. So as soon as you hear this, you know Kiss Me Deadly's coming because you remember that. It's something that uh, is going to stay with you when you listen to that song. So be creative with your guitar parts and your guitar leads. Build them. Start from the bottom and build your way up to the top. Don't blow your wad on the first note, whereas a lot of people do. It's like they're out of the chute, they're out of the starting gate, like a horse running down the, around the track. You don't want to do that. You're not a horse running around the track. You're a musician. So be melodic, be creative, and build your solos to be memorable. Something that you can whistle when you walk away or sing. I know uh, a lot of the older guitar players did do that, and now, nowadays everything is about how fast can you play? How many notes can you cram into a guitar solo? That's not about building a solo. That's not about being creative. Throw that away. Don't use that. If you end your solo with, with jamming a bunch of licks and, and something really speedy and, and that's okay. Just end it and, and end it properly. End it on a nice note. So maybe it hangs out over the rest of the, the next pattern of the song. But give it a shot and try and build a guitar solo. It's a lot more work. It's a lot harder to build a guitar solo than it is just to rattle off a bunch of licks. And I think maybe that's one reason why some musicians would rather just rattle off a bunch of licks. But if you're writing a song, you want it to be melodic and you want it to, to have some sort of memory. So give it a shot. This is Lita Ford. You're watching jamplay.com.